Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This will be episode number 75 in the series and in this episode we're going to head over to the Eastern Leg with HS2 and get some of that built because I have spent a lot of time on the Western Leg so far. We've almost completed the Western Leg in the last episode. We built the Manchester Piccadilly Station which is just here. We've got our trains coming in. We've got services now running from Manchester Piccadilly. I've got two services. I've got in Manchester Piccadilly Manchester Airport crew stopping service and then obviously non-stop down to HS2 South otherwise um, in place of Euston and then I've got a service which stops at Manchester Airport and crew and then gets onto HS2 there so uh, this is our first this is well it's a 320 meter long train rather than a 400 meter long train but it's two two sets of cars two trains coupled together to form one long train basically so we've got that that is the that's the non-stop one basically and what i've done so for the what are known as captive sets so they're the sets which will only operate on hs2 what i'm going to do for that is have two sets joined together to form a 320 meter long uh, set and then for the classic compatibles i'm actually going to use 200 meter long train so it is going to look a little, a little bit odd but it's just for the capacity more than anything so yeah the the actual captive sets will still be longer but they will only be half as long rather than twice as long that they'll be in real life. So yeah, that's Manchester Piccadilly. Manchester's redeveloped. I've rebuilt the Manchester Metro. I know it's supposed to be underneath Manchester Piccadilly, but here it is represented here with the little tram. So there we go. We've pretty much finished the western leg now. We've just got the last little bit to do down to, to Wigan, but I think I'm going to do that off camera just as a little bit of a time lapse maybe just to finish that off we do have uh, hs2 class classic compatible services operating already we've got a, a what would be in real life a london a london houston, houston to scotland service but in this obviously it just goes as far north as oxenholm so it's oxenholm lancaster preston wigan north western uh, this actual service that i've put on is the warrington service so there's going to be two distinct services so there's going to be a scotland service which goes via actually well now i say that eventually the scotland services will get onto hs2 at the junction here as part of phase 2b and then they will go non-stop to london euston and there is going to be another service there is a service proposed which is i think originates at preston actually rather than scotland and that's going to be preston wigan northwestern warrington bank key crew and then hs2 that way so in that way warrington doesn't kind of lose out any hs2 services once this diversionary route's finished basically so there is plans for warrington to retain a hs2 service once this section is built and i think what is proposed is that service will call warrington will come into crew and then we'll actually join with a liverpool service perhaps and that will form a 400 meter long set for its journey down towards london euston and in, in that way basically it maximizes the capacity that you actually have on the hs2 core network down to london so basically you're getting two routes for the price of one by joining them together to form one 400 meter long set so there we go i haven't bought the liverpool service on yet i still haven't decided if i'm going to do that before or after i do hs3 because remember once hs3 is built the liverpool services will actually go on hs3 well if, if hs3 ever gets built they'll go on hs3 and get on at this junction which we built a couple of episodes ago so there we are in today's episode we're going to have it over to the east because i don't want the east to feel left out uh what i thought i for some reason i don't know why i thought on the eastern leg there was going to be two hub stations but in fact there's only going to be one as far as i can make out which is the east midlands hub at totten which is basically here so it's a little bit further away, away that that a little bit further away there than a little bit further a little bit further away from east midlands airport than i thought and obviously quite a lot further away from Loughborough. So what I'm going to do is, like I did by Stafford, I'm actually going to have a station down here. Just going to chuck one in, which is going to be four platform, four platforms, 320 metres long, and I'm just going to chuck it in right about here, at angling it towards the Nottingham direction, because it, remember, it comes from Birmingham on this sort of angle. So I'm going to plop that in there like that, throwing it off the edge of the map just really to maximise every last meter we can to get the trains up to some sort of decent speed and then we need a junction here don't we just again gonna have to put in a a diamond crossover just because of the space constraints more than anything else so that wants to be nice and flat keep it perfectly flat give us the best chance on which to build 
a diamond crossover. Not worrying hugely about the speed because they are slowing down to come into the station or speeding up and having left the station. So we're going to chuck that in there as we have an auto save. Yeah, the difference in the time it takes to auto save this and my Veil build is just like night and day it takes i wouldn't say five minutes but it takes a good couple of minutes for the auto save to actually do its thing basically with this because of how big the build is whereas the veil is just like a couple of seconds if you haven't checked out my veil series yet then i would uh, really suggest highly suggest that you uh, check that out it's a brand new series which is like more of a free play so i'm actually playing the game within the spirit of the game this time rather than having the sandbox mode turned on and basically chucking as much money as i want at this but i am actually having to play within the spirit of the game which is a little bit different for me and a little bit of a challenge and so is this so it's not it's not overly complicated but i think i need to relocate east midlands parkway and actually the actual hs2 track heading up to the east is relatively curvaceous i think for the hs2 route the hs2 route let that train get out of the way running up from the chilterns is up from london is relatively straight whereas as we get towards here it's got a lot to kind of navigate around it's got the airport it's got the m1 and it's got all of these junctions here so they're out of the way it's a bit of a shame because i quite like this station but i suppose it's not the end of the world to rebuild that so we're gonna have to get rid of this the reason i made it so far north was to try and maximize the speed down to loughborough but it, it doesn't really make that much difference anyway does it so i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the track right back to this bridge here and then take this junction no yeah take this junction back a little bit what i think i'll do is i'll just have it running straight so um parallel tracks no catenary no it's not electrified just chuck in some little bits of track first of all and then i think i will worry about the re rebuilding the station later because i just want to get this in first of all maybe even a little bit further south than that again because of the scale that we're working to it is going to be a little bit tricky i'm going to get rid of this depot just want to make sure we've got a nice clear run up to the east midlands hub here get rid of that we've got a switch in there no we have so don't need to worry about that and then i think i'm going to do even even more demolition of the existing network obviously we don't really have there isn't really that much work done to the existing network with hs2 in real life other than maybe changing the alignment of a few bits of track and building over bridges over the existing network but i think i just want to get this sort of lined up in a good sort of orientation i'm just putting a little bit of a curve i don't want to put too much of a curve on it and i do want it to be a little bit further south so maybe a little little bit of a curve just to give us a bit of a head start with hs2 and that's going to re need rebuilding that and it is all a little, little bit complicated yeah i think i'm going to push this junction right back actually just because of where everything is located so let's have this point a little bit more in an easterly almost easterly direction we can even make that a little bit quicker which is good and then get this just bolted onto there maybe not bolted straight onto there then so let's maybe have to get rid of that and that little bit of a switch i'll have to remember to put that back in so we had a switch coming over here switch coming over here good then then what then maybe a little little tiny bit more track like so is that does that snap to that it is and then what i what i need to do is we've got to kind of thread hs2 through over here so north of east midlands airport east midlands parkway and i don't want it to be too slow at the same time so i think what i'll do is i'll just build this piece of track first so one two three three no four still collision four and a couple of bits or maybe a couple more bits that's better but i think i'm going to do what i did with the junction which i struggled with on the last build is actually just use this pillarless bridge here for now and then come back in as and when i need to that's that seems to be quite low to me that maybe bring it up a little bit and then just check this height as well maybe yeah that looks all right so i'm going to build that for now gives us a little bit of a indication and i think actually might want to curve it towards the east midlands hub like so just check that room again so curve that in collision now and then this little bit should just curve just want it to be not too high but again it needs to be high enough so yeah that looks good to me uh, 191 that's not too bad i don't think we're going to be achieving kind of any great speeds on this run up anyway because we are going to start have to start slowing down for 
the station anyway so we'll have a nice nice approach in but got this little bit of a junction here now i can never remember if i built this too far north or too far south but either way it is gonna kind of hinder what we need to do next because i know we don't need to worry about the speed too much because it'll be just coming coming in to slow down basically for the east midlands hub um but have to have yeah we built all that so needs to be about there one two three four straight across on the pillarless bridge just for now just basically give us a little bit of a just to get this track alignment in i can always come back and delete bits put embankments in put pillars in and things like that and then can i start to curve it come up a little bit why won't you come up so maybe from from here just just come over that's better over that little bit like so start to curve in and then let's see will it just let us finish that finish that off like so possibly and then um it wanna it's gonna have to curve over the, the main line a little bit almost clip the station yeah just up a little bit come on a little bit that's it again we'll just go in just for ease of sorting the alignment out so wanna, i think we want a little bit of a better speed than that and then just might have to delete some of that possibly yeah 180 start to bring it down that's miles up in the air but yeah not to uh, think i'll yeah just gonna get this in basically is what i'm gonna do and then figure out what how it looks later on and that's probably the best the best way because it's just threading it over all the existing infrastructure that's built i know there's not a great deal in the way here but yeah there's just those couple of little bits over the middle and main line and then coming down from there and just be on an embankment that should be relatively straightforward which it is decent top speed as well even though it starts to slow down at that point coming into the station and then up into there so i think we've actually achieved a reasonable speed throughout there let's just double check with the with that open so we've got 224 yeah i mean it's not the greatest distance in the world anyway so we're not going to be achieving these speeds but it's just nice isn't it just to have a reasonable speed achievable like so good right so next thing is delete no I keep deleting the track but i'm just i think maybe this needs to curve a little bit more than it already does we've got to put like an s in almost to get in so we will take this back here and like i said it is relatively curvaceous but at the same time i've always got in the back of my mind i want a reasonable speed so maybe if we start to curve it out that's better 180 100, yeah 180 up a little bit and then as we come into here maybe maybe if we actually go straight on a embankment like so and then can we curve and come down at the same time i think i'll just put the pillarless bridge in for now maybe a little bit quicker 120 that's not too bad i think we've cracked it so as you know before before i start putting anything in stone i will just just check we can put this station in so what we need is a station of some description i think i'll go with the nl uh, i think i'll just go with 240 meters now what's well i was going to say what services i'm not sure what services are actually using this do i want to build two stations and am i building it on the correct correct side yeah so east midlands hope the hs2 platforms are going to be on the east of this branch of the midland main line so that's all looking a little bit complicated yeah the issue there is i've just been having a look at open rail maps i should have done that in the first place and looked where totten sidings actually is and many of you probably watching this had already recognized that i was trying to build this in the wrong place which is why it didn't look right so i think i'm going to rebuild that junction anyway and this section here which kind of leads up towards chesterfield this needs to be further south than it already is so we will uh, make you know use that as an as a opportunity to make that a little bit more realistic so what we've got to do is the actual midland main line here is put our station on and then thread over so it's still north of east midlands parkway and then we've got to thread it through there somehow and bring it down so if we just chuck it over on the lowest bridge possible 207 that's that's pretty good actually oh that was a bit too low right maybe if we start from the left hand side that's probably better so we'll start the left hand track bring it down bring it up just until we need to basically so just about there we'll stick with that pillarless bridge and that is actually a lot easier than uh, than i was thinking so yeah we can start to slow it down as we come down towards yeah you're probably uh you're probably watching this staring at the screen thinking what the heck is he doing uh so yeah we're actually on the right side now so we can start to bring it down nice and flat actually that's pretty good actually no so if i bring that track down to there delete no that's fine then we come in with our nl building here so i think 
I'll just chuck this in and configure it. As far as I can tell from the plant, I don't think, I'm not sure if there are any firm planters yet, but the, the kind of renderings that I've seen seem to suggest there's going to be four platforms and two through tracks for by for you know bypass tracks down the middle. But uh, on my on this playthrough, I think I'm going to stop every single service at this parkway anyway at this hub. So I'm not going to bother with the bypass tracks, I don't think. Um, but I will put in the platform. So we're going going with the NL section. So we want two two segments basically. So each services don't share platforms, and then tracks come in with the high speed. That's the only. The only issue, your transport for the world was like, why why don't you build with uh, high speed tracks? And the reason is because I've got still the third rail segments on, it replaces them. No, it, well, it hasn't done. <laughs> it's making a liar out of me, this. I'm almost 100% sure that in the past, high speed tracks have been replaced with third rail. Just, it seems to do it randomly, but on it's making a liar out of me today. So uh, yeah, we will have high speed tracks in our high speed railway station. That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? And then we're going to go in with our platform segments down there like so. And then I think what I'll have is like, I like a, a bit of a, a bridge almost. I mean, you don't need to, but I think it just gives a little bit of a little bit of separation. And then your tracks. Now for this, we don't have any catenary, do we? So uh, how many I think we'll just have just the two. Although there might be more pla uh, more tracks, more, more platforms planned in the final station. But I think two should be all right because it's not the busiest section of railway anyway. And that's basically our um, Midland mainline connection. And then MISC, we will go with... I think we'll go with the NL roof rather than a glass roof. And that just allows us to put in the overpass down here. I do like using these overpasses. I think um, someone is actually working on some UK overpasses. And I think what I'll do, maybe... No, that's a bit overkill, isn't it? I think Selmy is working on some UK like overpasses and... and station segments so that's going to be quite cool when they come out and i think i want some some benches as well before i forget we'll have a couple down here some on this like concourse area and maybe a few more why not a few on that side and then maybe a couple more and then on that side and then we'll finish this roof off it's not going to be completely covered i don't think we'll just cover the central section maybe maybe extend it out a little bit like so so that is east Midlands. is it just east is it just east Midlands hub like that, and it's quite a nice looking station actually. And then we're gonna have to fan out these tracks for about here, I think. Bring that into there again. We're not, oh god, no, I was just about to say we're not worrying about the speed too much, but we're not going that slow. That's slowing things right down 77. Maybe if we curve out of here first, just something like 80, 90, probably about as fast as we need to go into the station anyway, that's fine. And then we'll just have some switches into the central platforms. Too much too much of everything then. It wasn't happy at all, was it? Too much. Too much for it to cope with. And then I'll just get this section here. Now, the only thing is, I'm pretty, I'm almost certain I built it on the correct side this time. Well, I was, I was sure there was a connection into Nottingham, which there is. Did I delete this junction or just uh, did I never build it? Um, no, 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 no catenary. I'm not sure even if by the time HS2 is built that the East Midlands, the Midland Main Line will be electrified, unfortunately. But yeah, there's supposed to be a junction here, which there wasn't previously for some reason. I think perhaps I had my services on the wrong piece of track. I had services coming down this track to go into Nottingham. So maybe that was wrong, I don't know. But yeah, I want to junction. Yeah, I'm not, not worrying too much about the speed on this. I think I'll have any services that are using this will be basically stopping at East Midlands Hub and then we're just going to put on a couple of signals so we want one on there we want one here which should really be one way and I don't think I'll have any well I have got a signal on them that should just be long enough I think maybe I'll just push that in a little bit more just want to make sure we've got stacking capability for a train to go in here without fouling that junction and before I forget because I always do we'll have that as one way and we will change this track slightly so we still want to maintain a reasonable speed. So that's all right. 111. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Curve that into there. And then we've got some things to do with. Now, I don't know where this, if this crosses. I think it must cross somewhere. I'm not, I think it must be over here. But I think I'll need to, uh, I'll need to double check my maps before I go any further with that. So um, I think what I will do is just, while we're here, is... We'll just put one platform on. That makes things a bit easier, doesn't it? And was that... Ah, now that's a thing, isn't it? I didn't make that 320. So how many more segments do we don't need? Need another, another two segments on there. It's a good thing I checked, wasn't it? So this is going to be 
possibly too short or I'm not sure what sort of trains will be calling there anyway but we definitely need two more segments down here which means that the middle and main line is going to have to move again I think I, well I'll just leave that deleted for now until I've figured out where HS2 crosses the middle and main line anyway so I'll put that in there configure this get all this boxed off before we move on and then come in with the tracks down the middle and then we're just going to have to have some benches extended down here a little bit and a little bit more roof and I think as we're here we may as well just add a couple more maybe one more segment that should be enough I think to this station that should be uh, that should be more than enough shouldn't it maybe yeah that'll be fine and I think in, in matter of fact because I have done that first of all tracks place the tracks in the middle I think I'm gonna have some overpasses in the opposite direction as well and might maybe a little bit overkill perhaps yeah and I think we'll leave it at that maybe no I think what we'll do is we'll have get rid of these ever so slowly and then we'll have the dual ones shall we that's better down the middle like that and always put Turner that actually we'll get rid of get rid of that one and have I know we just gotta have that one there apparently so yeah even better that's good and I think yeah just a bit of track there for now and then figure out where HS2 crosses that which is all fine so that law looks all looks good to me it looks a little bit unbalanced now I think I just want to put, I could play with this forever couldn't I right misc just a couple more maybe maybe another segment in there to make it look a little bit more even there we go that wasn't too bad was it so we've got that hooked up we've got to obviously rebuild the rail network which we've demolished around here so let's just get all this hooked up keeping a want to maintain a reasonable speed i think it is you know it is 125 miles per hour railway isn't it and then this piece of track actually i'm going to delete all of this because this has always been too far north so get rid of all of this get rid of those signals in there and then this can head off kind of north northwesterly doesn't want to be in a tunnel i don't think wants to be a little bit quicker as well check what that looks like does that that looks really bad no unacceptable right so from here cross that there and then just have a quick look that looks fine now that's good and then onto there place our signals oh why is it it's, it's ugly again is it yeah definitely is right, let's let's try that again shall we one last go come down have a look yeah because it looks fine no maybe it's not maybe that's better it is on the flat this time good and then just swing that in one last check of that just to make sure chuck our signals on and that's all fine not going am i going to have any signals here no i don't think i've got any space and then we need to figure out what happens around here but i think that's enough for today um yeah i think i'm going to call it a day there i think i'm just going to build east midlands hub or east midlands parkway off camera because i've already built it once so uh, it doesn't need doing again but yeah re redo that redo that junction but i'm relatively happy i know it doesn't look like we've done an awful lot but i'm relatively happy with how that's all turned out especially with the speeds we've managed to achieve on this section here with that kind of s that we've got going on but yeah i'm relatively relatively happy with how all this has turned out should be quite good once it's all smooth and painted and everything but i'm gonna leave it there for today anyway until next time bye bye